Hello and welcome to the video. I'm just here with Jetty. He's having some sushi for lunch, aren't you, Jetty? Good sushi? Tuna and avocado. Yum, yum. Good? Yeah, that means good. Uh, so I said that I would come back and do an update before we left. So I think I did a video last Friday. So we're on the home stretch now. It's Friday and we drive off on Wednesday. Um, it's been a busy week. I've actually had a really busy week with my work. I've had a lot of orders and um, so that kind of made me even busier. But thank goodness for Lindsay's mum. She's been such a good help in taking Jed so that I can have some extra time to get things done. Um, the It's been actually a crazy week here because it's been raining for like three or four days straight so this is the current situation with the laundry in my house um we don't have a clothes dryer we just haven't really needed one because it never rains this much but um the sun is finally out but i don't know if i'm going to chance hanging this stuff out there because it's been sitting sitting in here for like three days it's still not dry anyway boring um so as far as the move goes, um, the packing goes, it, everything is, well, I won't say everything, but it's going pretty well. Mostly what I have to do now is just pantry, um, bathroom essentials, because I've packed the rest of the non-essentials under the kitchen cupboard, my office stuff that I've still been using. What are you after, Jetty? What are you looking for? Did you drop some? That's okay, you've still got lots left. Um, so that office stuff and then Jed's room, which I'm, I don't want to pack up until the last sort of morning just so he doesn't think it's too strange. Um, Jed is coping fairly well. I think he knows something's up. Um, the other morning, I was packing up his books from his bookshelf and he he actually got really upset. He threw himself on the ground and started crying and went to the cupboard where I popped the box away and started getting out the books and handing them to me and re he was reading them. as It was almost as if to say, Mum, no, I still use these books. Like, why are you packing them away? So it's obviously hard to explain to a nearly 20-month-old. 20 month, 20 yeah um what's going on um what else can i tell you um so last weekend we had a busy weekend pretty much like back to back social um meetups with some friends groups to say goodbye um thankfully because we do have family still living in the area we are going to be back um semi regularly so it's not like goodbye goodbye it's it's just to catch you in a little while. Um, so that was a busy weekend and it was a little bit like, as much as I like enjoyed meeting up with everyone, I have to admit it was a bit of a relief when the weekend was over just because like I'm a little bit of an introvert. I just like, I need my personal, I, I, I do well on alone time as well. So having that much, social stuff happening was a lot um but it was also really sad to I was okay saying bye to the people that we don't get to see much but I I actually got pretty teary saying goodbye to my mother's group because we've become very close and we see each other I don't know it's just that was that was difficult I did get a bit teary then um this weekend we have three different meetups with our family. Um, but we've also got some spare time as well because we need to do stuff around the house um, before the move. So that's pretty much what's happening. Um, Lindsay's had some good news on the work front. Um, I won't share on here now, but there is an opportunity that seems to be unfolding, which 
we're just stoked about and if it comes to happen we'll be like wow how good is risk taking and having like a leap of faith because we weren't expecting that outcome but yeah it, it could be good so anyway i'm going to probably oh well, what else do i need to tell you um not much really we're going on wednesday we're staying overnight halfway sort of a third of the way the next night we're staying with some relatives we arrive at the new house on a friday and then the um truck arrives on the saturday morning early so we're going to get to sort of see the inside and maybe plan like where things go before the truck arrives um but i'll probably like record a bit in the empty house and just show you because yeah we don't know what we're going to i actually don't even know what the front of the house looks like because it wasn't in the pictures online and my friend didn't get a pic of the front so complete mystery but anyway overall really excited feeling nice and organized and looking forward to <laughs> what you doing jetty what you doing bud you dancing okay yeah you want to say hi hi <laughs> Hi, good one. Anything else? Is there. Can you see your nose? Can you can you touch your mouth? No. Oh, you want to touch your mouth on the camera. <laughs> okay, say bye. Say bye. <laughs> All right, well, I'll leave it there and I'll do another update when we're gone, I guess. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.